If you abuse a right or a freedom in almost any context, I can't really think of any context that this this won't apply, but uh, uh, you know, I'm sure there are some. I, I Maybe I'm not thinking deeply enough about it. But if you abuse a right, a freedom, or a privilege, if you abuse it, that will be taken away or it will be extremely abridged. If, you, if people who own those high-powered green lasers who you, where you can do uh, point at stars and stuff with it. It's they're they're pretty neat. But if you decided to, uh, well, let's just let's point it at an airplane. It, like if it happened like eight times, the freedom, the the, the freedom to own that uh, that kind of equipment would be taken away. They would become illegal to own unless you have some sort of special license or something. I'm sure some of you have seen these YouTubers who will. The main focus of their channel is to harass police. And when I say that, I mean they will do everything they can to challenge the very edges of the laws uh, when talking with a police officer. Like they will they will purposely go to through checkpoints. They know there's a checkpoint there or there's a gate they have to go through or something, right? And they will push every button they possibly can, really, really make this very, very difficult for the officers. Well, because I can. We need to, we need to celebrate our freedoms by being, by being the most nuisance you could possibly be to a police officer. You know, it's basically harassing a police officer. But, you know, the people that, uh, the black people who put up their hands and weren't weren't doing anything, who get shot, um, you know, they deserved it because they didn't have the right kind of attitude towards the police, right? But you can guarantee that if there were, you know, 20 people, uh, there was a gathering of 20 people to all go through this uh, checkpoint or this gate you know, all at the same time, and they all were going to do that exact same thing to the to the to the officers. Then, you know, they'd have to call in probably for reinforcements just to be able to handle all of this, all of the people, because they know it's going to take a long time. And uh, you know, if that happened, maybe a couple more times, uh, they would create a law to make it illegal to do that. And there go your there go your freedoms because you decided to abuse them on websites okay you abuse your freedoms on a website and they get taken away you can have your account removed whatever you're under their rules but the freedoms you have the, under their rules if you abuse them you're, it's going to be taken away that's how that goes and the same thing happens here in real life under the government of the united states of america if we get into a mode where we're going to abuse our freedom of speech, it will be taken away. We cannot have the kind of chaos that will ensue if we start to believe that we can just treat anyone any old way we want. And it only takes a small percentage of people doing this to make this possible. It has to be several magnitudes more than what we've been experiencing in the past. There has to be a massive increase of this um, which doesn't say that, oh, everyone is going to become this way. No, it's just saying that a certain percentage of people are feeling like it's cool to be this way. It, that's all it takes. Okay, we've, we've, we've just sort of had this agreement for a long time. It's been an agreement to treat each other decently verbally. It's kindness, it's manners, it's giving a shit. We've had this. But a major change is happening right now where people are, are feeling like, are starting to feel like they can treat people the same way that they are treated on these platforms. To treat people like that in real life. This shit spilling over into real life is it's going to be tragic. And we're already starting to see it happen. So to those of you who think that, this is, this is just to those of you who think this, this is not to anyone else, to those of you who think that the LGBT community should just grow a thicker skin against 
religious people telling them uh, they have no morals, they're going to burn in hell for eternity, or anyone else saying, um, you stupid fucking faggot aid, uh, aid spreader, you know, any slur that you can think of, said negatively, said as a slur, said as a pejorative, that we should all, we should just grow a thicker skin to that. Stop worrying about uh, whether people are doing that because they're just words, right? Those who are say, telling gay people, telling the LGBT community this sort of thing, you better practice what you preach. You cannot tell the LGBT community to just grow a thicker skin to all that shit. If you're unwilling to do the same thing towards the feminists and the SJW saying, uh, you know, cis white scum. I've seen some people say some really nasty things towards the straight white male, uh, cisgender male demographic. I've seen some just horrendous things said. They about the same horrendousness as what is said towards gay people. They're just words, right? What difference does it make what their opinions are? They're just words. Grow a thicker skin. Shh, just take it. I don't think you should just take it. But I don't think the LGBT community should just take it either. The thing that we really need to realize is that someone's attitude towards others is more important than the belief system that someone has. Someone could literally have the most peaceful belief system that's even possible. But if the person following that belief system has a shitty attitude, it doesn't matter what the belief system is. Makes no difference. Makes no difference, well, they're not a real uh, person that, that follows us, whatever. Someone could believe that uh, this group over here should, should all be dead. But if they're not pushing that onto people, they're not throwing pejoratives at, at people, they're treating people decently, their belief in that doesn't really make that much difference. If they start to say it aloud, um, that's going to make a lot of difference. See, see, here's the thing. There are a lot of, of viewpoints that are considered toxic to the opposite side, whatever side you happen to be on. And there is, is absolutely no way to have uh, peace. There's no way to have tolerance if we have a bad attitude and don't care about the feelings of other people. Again, as I've, I said earlier in this video, if we, if we abuse our rights, they will be taken away. It's like you don't understand how, how a society works. What is it that holds a society together? Tolerance, common goals, our ability to treat each other decently, our knowledge that we're all humans, compassion, empathy, our ability to look at, to at least just analyze the way that other people live enough to know life is full of all walks of life. Unless we find a way to stop this ball from rolling, this social ball from rolling, where everyone is going to just start, not everyone, not everyone, but enough of a percentage that it's going to do the damage it's going to do, treating each other like shit verbally. Unless we can find a way to stop this ball from rolling, we will lose our freedom of speech. Then who are you going to blame? Is it the SJW's fault that you're calling a, a, a gay man a faggot, aid spreader? Is it because the SJWs say bad things about white people that you're saying that? Can you, can, could you put the blame all on them? Or does the blame go on everyone? Everyone involved, including you, if you're, if you're pushing forth some, some unnecessarily nasty statements said to people. This will spread like a cancer unless we stop it, you know, before it spreads out. Because we... This is what has so many people worried. Most people, though, I, I shouldn't say that that's what the exact... They're worried about the spreading of it. Um, I don't think they're as concerned about 
about what happens after it spreads so much, which is we lose our freedom of speech. And that ends up being the thing that forces us to be reasonable again. And I sure as hell don't want that to happen. This is why I talked about the shame thing on this. Okay, there are certain behaviors, there are certain mindsets that we need to say, look, just tone it down. And let me be clear, when I talk about behaviors, I'm talking about people who treat others like shit. And this can come from all sides. But tone it down. I always pictured it being uh, Hillary that would lead us down to adopting rules from the UN. But if we just sit there and, and abuse our freedoms like we never have before, and uh, Trump ends up just caring about business, he might just say, well, you know, fuck your freedoms. Uh, I want our uh, my friends to make money, and the UN can help that. Do you think we're are the the things that we hold dear as far as our rights will will still be that important, especially if we're abusing them? Because after all, Trump, the business person, knows exactly what's good for this country.